Hi guys. So for this video I'm using cotton in size 4 medium and yarn in size 2. It's really thin. I want to use both of these two strands together. So you just join them together like this. I want this triangle to be very solid and stiff, which is why I'm using both of those together. And the crochet hook is in size 3.75 millimeters. So I start by making a slip knot. And then I'll chain four. Now on the last chain from the hook, I'll make four double crochet. We need five, but this uh, three chain in the beginning of row count as one. I'll chain three, then through that same chain I'll make five double crochet. I'll chain three, then through that same chain I'll make five double crochet. And now to complete row one, I'll chain three, then right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Right around this first double crochet chain, I'll make one front post slip stitch. And then I'll chain three. Now through these next four double crochet chains, I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain three. Then through the same three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Through the next five double crochet chains, I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain three, then through that same three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Through this next five double crochets, I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain three. Then through that same three chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Now to complete row two, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll make one front post double crochet right 
through this double crochet that we have uh, made a slip stitch and then I'll chain three now we have one two three four five six through the next six double crochet chains I'll make one front post double crochet Now through this 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 3. Then through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. Now through this next 9 chains I'll make 1 front post double crochet. Through this 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 3. Then through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. Now through this next 9 double crochet post I'll make 1 double crochet post through each double crochet post. Through this next 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain 3. Then through that same 3 chain loop I'll make 2 double crochet. Now through this next 2 double crochet post I'll make 1 double crochet post through each double crochet post. Now to complete row 3, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I want to close this loop here before I continue. So we'll do that with your needle. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, it looks much better now that we close this loop here. So this completes row 3. Now for the pattern we repeat row 3. Let's see how many rows I have so far. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So see here I use yarn in two different colors. But now I'm going to cut 
this one yarn, see, the lavender one. And I'm just going to use uh, cotton in color white. Now for this row, instead of making a front pose double crochet, I'll make a back pose double crochet. So we'll start by making a slip stitch right around this first double crochet, a back pose slip stitch. Now I'll chain three, then for the next back pose double crochet, I'll make one back pose double crochet. Through his next post, I'll make one back post double crochet. Through his next post, I'll make one back post double crochet. So the pattern is still the same, it's just that uh, instead of making front post double crochet, I'm making back post double crochets. That's the only difference. So we repeat this throughout this row. Now that I'm by the end of this row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I will chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. If you need yours larger, you just have to make more rows. So this one measures 17 and a half inches. Now right here at each corner through these three chain loops I'll make uh, some extra chains. If I just start right here. So I insert a hook right here through this loop and I'll make a slip stitch then through a slip knot loop and pull through. And now I will chain 100. Now that I chained 100, I'll just tighten up this chain, then I'll cut this yarn. So what we're going to do is uh, make a chain of 100 in this first three chain loop, then we'll make a chain of 100 through this uh, second three chain loop, then through this third chain loop we'll make two 100 chains because we needed to, to tie it around our neck. Actually, you know what? Instead of making two chains, I think I can just make a 200 chain separately and just insert it through this loop. Let's try that. So I'll chain 200. So 
So now that I've chained 200, I'll cut this yarn, I mean cotton. And I'll trim this excess. Now right here through the three chain loop I insert this uh, chain. And then I will make a knot. Mm, like that. Now we can tie it around our neck. And right here, I'll weave these ends in, and then we'll be done.